Uh, this is the equipment, which is very basic, very cheap, very simple. These are manuscript clips that hold the um, apparatus together. And the apparatus consists, for me, I use a, two sheets of glass, so this is, this is plexiglass underneath. So you need a firm surface, and you need uh, something absorbent. That I use some, some felt. And then I'm going to be working with this uh, Walt Whitman portrait in a plastic transparency. And then you need a freshly plucked leaf. So just before you arrived, I went out to the back garden and picked out a, a hosta. They're all tattered now. And, you know, that's okay because, you know, my subject is war and soldiers. And so come to think of it, maybe I should do this, this um, amputee here. So the leaf goes down on the absorbent material. And then I position the, the figure on it. So that goes on there. And the top sheet of glass to sandwich it tight. Basically, a leaf print, a chlorophyll print, is a sun print. And you need to do it in full sun, nice hot day. Virginia is perfect for that. And where the transparency is clear, the sun will strike the leaf and bleach it out. So this part will go light yellow. This is a variegated leaf, so it already has just a little bit of white edging, which is interesting too. Now where the, where the ink is opaque on the transparency, it will block the sun and this natural deep green will remain. And in the halftone area, you'll, you'll get a halftone. You'll, you'll get uh, a mixture. So this will be somewhat lighter, this will be dark, and this will be light yellow. And the end result is um, a leaf print. So I'm going to just do one of them. I think maybe eight ounces will be enough. So I'm going to try and get exactly four here of this. So this is the resin. And this is the hardener. And if you don't get it 50-50, and if you don't get it mixed right, it's botchy and it doesn't harden right and you've got mushy areas. I guess I could have a higher table for this. There's so many points at which you can screw up the leaf. And if you don't get this mixed really well. It won't come out right. I think I'll cast this big one here. Now I want to spread this out. Get it into the corners. And you can see the bubbles forming. It's just what it does. Okay.
to scorch the leaf. That can happen. No, what the heck is that? So I have to do this three times at about 20 minute intervals because it will bubble again. Uh, it's about what it takes to get them all out. But there's still a few. You can't see it at arm's length, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs>